17-year-old Svetlana Boganskaya, the reigning European and world all-around champion. And she begins this event with a very risky mount, a front flip. It's like being shot out of a cannon. You can't hold back or be too cautious in any way. This is the move that gave her problems in earlier practice sessions. No problem today. She has such an enticing style and grace. It really sets her apart from some of the others. Kathy, how difficult is it to start the competition on balance beam? Well, it's very difficult because you have no other event to get the nerves out. She has to come out with a tough, aggressive mindset. She really is today's grand dame of gymnastics, similar to Ludmila Tereshova in the early 70s. Her required split leaps. Terrific focus. Very focused. And her dismount, double tuck, a great way to start the competition, especially on such a precarious event. On this front foot mount, it takes incredible leg strength to get up and over that four foot beam. Plus, it's a blind landing. Your feet hit the beam before you actually see it. Well, it wasn't precarious for her. 9.962 on her opening. To keep up the level of difficulty, where she has left her mark is her innovative dance. This routine was choreographed by a former dancer with the Bolshoi Ballet. And this is her first of three tumbling runs. She does a full and double back. Very strong opening. stand still in this sport. She's increased her difficulty on this run to keep up with a younger gymnast. Since the World Championships, it's interesting to see how many gymnasts have changed their routines to try to emulate her style. Boganskaya at 17 has said she might retire this summer. That full exercise routine, one will never forget. Her best event, she's currently first in the all-around, slightly ahead of Anodi. And she performs a Yurchenko full twist, and if she lands this without stepping, she'll be hard to beat. She really can soar. Good position in the air. Perfect landing. Might be the first head of the meet, Kathy. Very well could be. A textbook vault. Her power is so reminiscent of Mary Lou Retton, and the height she gets is really exaggerated by her long body. Of course, her form is impeccable. Textbook it was, and it's a 10. The only one of the meets so far. That, of course, will keep Bogan Sky locked in first place. impact on the younger gymnast, but for now, she'll need a solid routine here to win the title. She's had trouble with this bar routine in practice. But she has also put on her game face and been very steady throughout the competition. She's gotten a little bit taller, it seems. And it's really much more difficult to keep up with the younger athletes, especially because they are so small. She's five foot four, but look how smooth she is. And that long body line certainly is very impressive. <laughs> Kathy, there's your winner. Spoken Sky really shows her experience on this dismount. She pulls her high pike double all the way around and plants those feet as if they were glued to the floor. 
With a smile that we rarely see and a score of 9.975, Svetlana Boganskaya wins her second consecutive European Championship. She's followed by Kalinina, then Anodi is third, Bontas dropped to seventh, and Groshkova placed tenth.